You know, it feels like every year I come to CES and ride electric skateboards. And I've made it my mission to find the perfect design. The first year, I rode the Board of Awesomeness. It was awesome. Last year, I experienced unparalleled speeds on the Z-Board. And this year, the boards are back. So this is the Ego Electric Skateboard. I'm cruising, I got this little controller here. You just slide up to go and you're off. So the board's really light. And the coolest thing about this, I think, is the fact that it feels way more like an actual skateboard than the previous boards I've written. It's literally a long board with a motor attached to it. And it's super lightweight and you cruise. This is the underside of the board, and obviously there's a nice big battery uh, attached to the bottom here. We're told that this thing has a range of 18 miles on a single charge, and has a top speed of 12 miles an hour. So you could take this thing pretty damn far. The Ego is hundreds of dollars cheaper than most other electric skateboards. At 700 bucks, I might just pick one up. Let's see what happens when I crank it up. I've ridden plenty of electric skateboards here at CES over the years. But this next one I tested, it tested me. So this is the one wheel. Can't really call it an electric skateboard, but it is very much a personal transportation electronic device. It's pretty simple the way it works actually. You sort of just put your foot down on, a, on the back here and then you lean in and you make sure your other foot is on the, on the switch. And once you hit the middle, the board's accelerometer and gyroscope kick in and will maintain your balance. And if you just lean, the accelerometer and gyroscope both kick into action. You really just have to feel it out. You know, right once you lose your balance, you'll fly right off. So range on the one wheel is four to six miles on a single charge, and it has a top speed of 12 miles an hour. But for something this wonky, I think that's fast enough. The one wheel is an awesome concept brought to life. The self-balancing technology inside made me feel like I'm riding something out of the future. But at $1,300, you're getting a 25 pound contraption that has a pretty limited range. As interesting as it is, it's not something I see myself buying. So I guess my search for the perfect electric skateboard continues. I'll see you next year.